um, you know, my home life was so um, chaotic, chaotic, just always never no stability, never any security. It's always just, you know, so I, I started, you know, back in, back in the mid 80s to early 90s, you know, the whole gangster disciple vice lord thing was all over Jackson real hard. If you didn't scream something, you was a lame, you was a square. Everybody that was popular was screaming something. I remember South Jackson was the biggest conglomerate of white vice lords you'll ever see and you ever saw in your life. And there's a law in that literature that says a white man cannot even be that. But in, in South Jackson back in the early 90s and late 80s, I went to Witten right down the road. I went to Peoples and I went to Witten. I went to Wingfield and Forest Hill. That's how often I moved. And all the white kids were screaming vice lord. <clears throat> you had a bunch of them scream gangster disciple too, but but what that did was that showed me, that introduced it to me. And then the movie Colors came out. And I was just enthralled by that movie. I loved it. You know, the old Crips and Bloods movie back in the day? And the way in the movie, the way they depicted the uh, Crips and the Bloods whenever they were with their brothers, their other organization gang members, how how they, they was just, it seemed like an unconditional love there. And it seemed like no matter what happened, they had each other's back. I wanted that. I wanted, I wanted a family like that. You know, not that, not that my parents or my brother or anybody, that, not that they didn't have my back, but when you're living in an environment like that, you don't feel stability. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't feel it. So I went looking for it for somewhere else. At 12 years old, I got uh, put down in the Gangster Disciples at 12 years old. Now, I'm gonna be clear. We wasn't really no gangster disciples. We just thought we were. The group of kids that, that put me down in it, they didn't know no, they didn't really know what that was. It's just, it was that whole um, the mentality of, of this the lore of that of that image, of that lifestyle that you think you want. And so they latched on to it. And then whenever I met them, I got put down. But now you couldn't tell us we wasn't gangster disciples. We'd have fought you for it. But what that did, though, was that introduced me to gangs. Well, then over the years, as the years went by, I started going to training school. I went to Oakley Training School a couple of times. That's a uh, training school over here in Raymond, Mississippi for uh, kids who are in, getting in trouble. It's kind of like a, a juvenile prison, but you're only there for like three to six months each time you go. I went there twice. Spent a lot of time in juvenile detention centers, and I got a little bit older. And um, I just became a full-fledged drug addict. You know, um, it's all I knew. Meth. 